Yeah. <laughs> Amazing song. I really do love the remix. See, I love the people see, on it. I feel like Crazy. I feel like uh, Tunde and Not is our Mariah Carey for Has Christmas it? time because Christmas time we're jamming it and it grows on you. That's yes, what I'll it say. does. And I love the remix. Does. <laughs> All righty, people. What a time to be alive. The holidays are almost here, and for some, it is time to rest. While for others like us. There's no holiday, as we're always here to keep you entertained. That's right. What better way to start your week than with us right here on East Splash? I mean, the East Splash gang is here for you always, right? Of course. But be intentional about your moves and choose the right crew to hang out with this holiday season because they would make your holiday interesting or boring. And you really don't want that, do you? Ah, my sister. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there is only one reason you tuned into the Monday edition of the show. It is the fact that East Splash is the best lunch hour show and you know all day every day it goes on and on you can stream live if you're on the mobile website which is www.tvcentertainment.tv so let's get the show on the road people yes 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 you know my name my name is Catherine <laughs> and uh, you all know me as Lady Kath her real hotness Queen Kath her real hotness Kathy of the Cate Cruz favor. Oh, I'm just keeping it short and simple today. Oh, shit. We're still expecting the Christmas chocolate from the, you know. You get it. From the Kit Kat. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. It is your girl, Dala, a.k.a. the goddess of skills. Some of you know me as the goddess or Dala, la, 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 la. Yes. Ooh. All right, we are going to spice up your afternoon with some good stuff as we will be giving you a taste of what it is we got up to over the weekend. We will also be taking a look at stories, taking the entertainment world by storm. And right after that, we've got some jubilation to do on Celebrity Birthday Shout Out. We also have some learning to do on Rewind, getting ourselves informed on what happened on this day in entertainment history. We will then check out our Minecraft Money for today while I will be sharing with us some of the crazy happenings on social media on Sociaville. Yes, yes, yes. And nothing better than showing gratitude on the Chew It Off segment as we start the second part of the show. We will also be taking the news recap in case you missed it while also checking out this weekend's highlights of who wants to be a millionaire. Of course we do. <laughs> <laughs> On today's Daily Top 5, we'll be talking about five signs you're mentally attractive. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and wrapping it all up on today's conversation on Truth Syndrome Monday, we will be asking, what is the most useless talent that you have? Wow. Hmm. Wow. Think about it. I have it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the show, guys. If you are just joining us, it is still East Flash. And speaking about just joining us, there were two, later become three. Oh, Jeff no, no, in no. the building. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, I just got back, man. Uh, uh, you just uh, got uh, back uh, from uh, where? From where? Uh? From your house? From. I just, I just what happened to your life it, it this was morning? It was a long flight, you know. I just uh? I flew uh? over Louisiana. And wow. Louisiana. Wow. You flew, yeah? I just got in, man. You, you know, say Louisiana? Jepo, why are you just coming? Our surprise guest presenter. Yeah, yo, so I, I was on the way, you know, uh, I was mm -hmm. on the way, and then mm -hmm. I was on the road. And you guys have something they call go slow in Nigeria. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Hey! I don't show. Ah, so you bring me shame. As in, oh, let's boy, go was slow. He, he, I, I felt like Vin Diesel on the road. Okay. Mm, <laughs> on road, no day to fly. So that fly. means you're over the weekend must have choked. Ah, you choke. <sighs> For oh, him well. to, ah, uh, no. Yes, it's actually, joke, yeah, it actually It's joke. different now. It's actually true. Uh -uh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's Big J, the beauty. You already know what time it is. <laughs> Freshest boy on the block. Not time to check the clock. You know what? It's all love, no glock. You know the vibe. And it's time for Over the Weekend. I made it just in time for Over the Weekend. <laughs> time to find out what it is we got to Over the Weekend. We'll be right back. Aha. All right. As your weekend, as you are late, do you so want tell to... us. Yeah, you should start. Is it, no, let's not. Make I rest more now. Uh -huh. Rest more like that. Yeah, oh, yeah, rest. Marinate. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, so this weekend, uh, my weekend started on Friday, of course. We had the TVC end of year party. Ooh. Yes. Uh, the dress code was freaky denim. I don't know who in HR decided that freaky <laughs> denim was a thing, <laughs> but apparently he ended up being a thing. It was actually really fun. Look at Jay Paul in his own denim giving us moves. This is part of why he, That's not he's me. just getting here because he has not truth. recovered. <laughs> um, we had, oh, of course, Lady Kath in the building, Honey Pot in the building, and of course, um, Ladipo performed as well. Uh, it was actually really fun. There was like so much to eat. Me, I carried like four, four turkey to my house. 
Hopefully, they will not, hopefully they will not subcharge me for that because <laughs> but it was actually really fun. Your boss Where's problem. my talking? Where's your talking? You did not tell me early. Sorry. <laughs> my brother has eaten one. Uh, so that was Friday. Um, so Saturday, the pictures from from my niece's birthday came out, and they were so cute. Aww. Yeah, so like my sister was one who actually like oh, set up everything, took the pictures and all that. It had bubbles and all, oh, wow. and then she was just very cute. My favorite one is the picture with the cake. Yeah, she and then like the bubbles, and sing. she was just yeah. so excited. What's that like, thing that uh, models, um, people from House of Dragons say? See, House of Dragons. Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> like she's about to say Dracarys. Dracarys. Wow, <laughs> well, that was Saturday. Um, Sunday, I had to be at two places. First of all, um, a friend of mine, Remy Headquarters, was doing her birthday dinner. Mm. Um, I said I was not going to post food this week, but... <laughs> you couldn't help yourself. <laughs> Darling, see, they wanted to kill us sweets. I don't even know whether it was like 10 course meal, like... There was so much to eat. Where do you put Prawn, all this? Uh -uh. The, see, like, I don't even know. Like, there was just so much to eat. Like, this, we started, like, garlic bread. But me had no, no cheese bread with garlic. But I didn't want the cheese, so they had to go and redo it. Then this chicken that was crossing legs. I was uh, like, uh, <laughs> it's looking like us on East Flash couch. Uh, then there was this salad that had apple and things inside. And it was actually really nice. Mm. Then meatballs as well. And I was like, well, it's not my fault that they gave me food this weekend, mm -hmm. Sha. But the prawn, was, the prawn was life, you understand? So this one is not me. I know Kuku, <laughs> as you can see. So that was my Saturday. Uh, sorry, my Sunday uh, beginning. And then at the end of Sunday, I had an event to be at. Um, a couple of people were outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when you pay me, you get that. Mm -hmm. You get. So Dotto, uh, Folu Storms, uh, Miss UD, a couple people. It was fun. Made Kuti performed. Mm -hmm. I heard that some other people performed before he did, but because I was at the dinner, I didn't get to see it. But Made is actually a really good performer. Like, sometimes if you just zone out and close your eyes, you might actually think it's like Femi or Fela. Fela. Yes. yes. At some that point, I was like, this is the energy. Mm -hmm. But then that was my weekend. It was really good and had a good time. All right. So, are you prepared or should I still go no, on? Go ahead. Still go, okay, still go, still so go. Uh, my weekend started on <laughs> Friday with the end of the year party. <laughs> and like Dala said, the theme was uh, Freaky Denny. I was there with the gang. j Paul made an entrance as always, <laughs> like he did today. And it was fun. Food, performances, mm -hmm. good people, a, a whole lot. And I had fun. After that, I went for Shell End of the Year party. Oh, same day? Yeah, yeah same day. Oh, wow. So, uh, theirs, they had the theme Great Gatsby, but I went for the after party. Oh, so same. it didn't matter. And then I still looked like the 80s. <laughs> Marilyn Morrow, which was what everyone was calling me. So yeah, uh, Saturday morning. Saturday, I was just here and there. I didn't even really take videos. Uh, we saw this little boy in traffic who was with leg pain and was selling face masks. And he was saying he comes all the way to Lekki from Ajegunle through boats and takes bus just to make money because textbook wow. something, something. So that happened. And then I was here and there. I made noodles, which did not stay in my stomach. I don't know, I've been purging. <laughs> And then I had the swallow too, which also did not stay in my stomach. I don't know why. I don't know what happened. But uh, later in the evening, we're just chilling, gisting and everything, my friends and I. Then Sunday, I had an event. So I couldn't go to church because I didn't sleep early. And the YouTube link to join the online service was not working. I don't know why. So I didn't attend church on Sunday. But uh, later in the evening, later in the day, I did my makeup because I was going to get a makeup artist and my friend was like, ah, that's why to kill. I said, ah, what's it do my aunt? So I did my makeup. I went for an event. It was titled Revs and Runway. It was about fashion, speed and everything. I saw the last brother <laughs> and I saw a lot of people I haven't seen in a long like time. <laughs> it was great. I had so much fun. Like imagine fast cars, power bikes, people drifting and you see fashion models trotting the wrong way. Like, all of that, I had so much fun, and here I am today. When you're looking at those cars, I just remember the day me and Dala decided to... to <laughs> race. To race. Hey, hey, hey. Um, it was actually supposed to be convoy, but the boy on It was supposed the... to be convoy. Mm -hmm. But I knew it was racing me, yes. so... Okay, so um, my over the weekend, um, Friday, definitely, um, uh, the TVC end of the... So I, I came old, I came late because I was at Tinsel shooting yeah. all day, and then I came for the TVC. Um, end of the year party. I've not seen them like this 
You know, this is my first end of the year party. I was like, ah, ah, who not a groove? Oh. It was so much fun. Like, that's us Why dancing is this to in my national own anthem. That was national anthem playing and we're dancing to it. You know, see, look at this one. Like, hey. it was just so much fun. <laughs> Everybody was, was like, this was where we got on. On so the stage. We, we, um, we created like a, a queue, a long circle, mm -hmm. and then everybody went on stage where dancing. Yeah. It was so much fun. Look at Alpha. See Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> it was so much fun. And um, I really had so much fun. See OJ. OJ was the hype man of the day. It was. it was. so cool. Oh, yeah. And the funny yeah. thing is, when we said bye bye to ourselves, that was not the bye bye. That was not the bye bye. We found <laughs> ourselves in another <laughs> spot till like 5 a.m. or something in yeah. the morning. And then we had so much fun. That was good. Um, so Saturday morning, I woke up and I decided that, okay, I was going to join the gang Bad that gang. I wanted to join since. Check me, check you me, know, check so me. Good check boy. Me. I ended up drawing my uh, tattoo. Uh, finally. Yeah, finally drew my tattoo, that son of Ephraim, you know, and special to me because um, that's my father's name and I, I remember him every time. He's the reason I'm here today. So yeah, I needed to put that on me. You did not put the part where I I did not cry. Uh, I was a bad guy. I was like, yes, But did not show your face. <laughs> No, I didn't cry. Crying. Ask Pimbo, boy, I did not cry. Okay. So um, that was fun. And Sunday, I had an event. Um, I was, I was uh, hosting DJ Preppy show. Fortunately, I turned to a party. It was not a hosting. Everybody was all having fun, you know, <laughs> jumping everywhere. It was, it was so cool. Um, ah, man, lots of good things happened. Yes. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. We had so much fun. And that was how my weekend went. It was really cool. Really and it's a wrapping over the weekend, people. The entertainment news is up next. Yes, and it's time for entertainment news today on a Monday. And a uh, lot of things to talk about in the entertainment news over the weekend. And first off, Whiskey issues apology to disappointed Ghana fans. Nigerian superstar Whiskey has tendered an unreserved apology to his Ghanaian fans for failing to perform at a concert he was supposed to headline in Ghana. The singer was billed to perform at the Whiskey Live concert scheduled for Saturday, December 10, 2022 at the Accra Sports Stadium. Extending his heartfelt apology to his fans on Twitter on Sunday evening, Whiskey wrote, and I quote, Ghana is a country I hold so dear to my heart. First and foremost, I want to apologize to all my fans. You all know I would never do anything without a serious re reasoning behind it. My brand is something I don't joke with. I sincerely apologize to everyone who made the effort to come out for me last night. I was charged up and looking forward to doing the show. According to Whiskey, every decision he made was to honor his fans and has, he would only make a drastic decision like that because it was the right thing to do, he continued. Unfortunately, up until the day of the show, there were, con there were continued to be safety and production issues that prevented me from putting on a high quality show that my fans deserve. My team and myself are working on delivering a show to my amazing fans in Ghana. It will be just us, me and you. Date and details soon. Love you. Meanwhile, organizers of the Whiskey Live concert in Ghana have since given an apology to those that attended while calling out the artist for breaching the contract. There are also reports that Whiskey was a no-show in Abidjan as it was billed to perform at a concert in the city. It was however spotted in Kutonu performing a con at a concert, which is one of the three concerts he was billed to attend this weekend. Mm. Oh, whiskey, whiskey, So whiskey. I saw this one and I was mm -hmm. saying, like, I feel really bad for the people uh, yeah. who actually pulled up because I was seeing videos and everybody looked offended. Mm. Uh, shout out to the guy that dressed like Ashake and got on stage and was trying to perform and, like, he, he collected <laughs> the heat of the anger <laughs> that people were feeling. Um, I feel like before shows like this, everybody should just get what they need to get sorted mm. out so that this doesn't happen. Like, I can't imagine myself paying for makeup, paying for my outfit, dressing up, going for a concert and then concert not happening mm -hmm. um so the promoters are blaming uh, big daddy Wiz. big daddy Wiz is also saying that oh the i think he said that technical and security wasn't and security wasn't up to par for mm -hmm. him as well so i feel like before that when they knew that maybe Wiz wasn't going to be able to perform yeah. they should have probably Postponed. put out a statement and let people know early enough don't make mm. people leave their homes come outside and then it's for no reason and then why a lot of them were upset was because many of them said they waited for over 12 hours. hours. So the fact that they waited that long, they were like, no, Whiskey won't do this to us. And then there was no statement put out. But now he is saying that there will be a new date and a new location. And he's going to make it up to them. So let's just keep our fingers crossed. It's okay, um, aside uh, the rumors that um, the stadium was not filled, 
aside those rumors, because that, those were rumors that, you know, probably because of that, and that's the reason why he didn't want to do it, because 4,000 capacity stadium, um, he was looking forward to filling that up. And the days built up towards the show, there was really, they just came up and, you know, let's do a show. It's not the usual, oh, you plan it. This is not London. This is not, this is Africa. Yeah. People at least, they spend their money. They have yeah. every use for mm -hmm. their money. Naira. So they have to plan it. December is not a time you just jump and you have to plan. Mm -hmm. In fact, some people have planned all the shows they want to do. Mm -hmm. Do you get? Um, aside from that, before we move on, I just want to touch quickly on the fact that, I mean, a few months ago, we all talked about Cynthia Morgan, prophecy and all that yeah. stuff. And she said, pray for whiskey. Pray mental for whiskey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's help, just yeah. a lot going on right now. He's, he's just in the news for the bad reasons for yeah. so for so long mm -hmm. now. And it's, it's a crisis at, at this point. It and is. you can tell that from the home front, there is a crisis that mm -hmm. needs to be managed and it's spilling out. So um, we pray whatever is going through, he fixes everything. That's Amen. right. Yeah. All right, still on the entertainment news, the band speaks over alleged fraud detention. Nigerian musician and businessman the band has broken his silence after his release from the custody of the Independent Corrupt Practices Commission, ICPC, over an alleged crime of fund diversion. Speaking about the situation, the band took to his Instagram account where he shared a picture of himself with the caption and I quote, Global thank you to the world. I was invited on an ongoing investigation in ICPC. I have assisted the commission with all I know and I am confident in their capacity to unravel the truth. I have no business with fraud. All I do is chop life. I was released on self-recognition because nothing was seen or found on me. God bless you all my people. End of quotes. Confirming the band's release, his lawyer, Kwalumi Olaje Bensi, said the singer was released on self-recognition but didn't confirm if he was on administrative bail. The lawyer said, and I quote, nothing incriminating was found on him. He was released on self-recognition. Right now, we expect the ICPC to give a letter of clearance to the band because, as we have always said, he's innocent of the charges brought against him, end of quote. If you would recall, we reported last week that the band was reportedly <coughs> arrested when he visited the ICPC to answer questions bordering on his alleged involvement in the fraudulent division of monies earmarked by the federal government for the NPAR project. The NPAR project is an empowerment program set up by the Nigerian government in 2016 to address youth unemployment and increase social development. Oh well, um, at the end of the day, we all have to educate ourselves in this country. Of yep. course. Knowing that um, that you are being invited for questions mm -hmm. doesn't mean that doesn't you are arrested. Mean that you are a criminal, you've been arrested. Mm. That you are a suspect is also different from being convicted. Yes. yes. You get until convicted, then you're proving guilty. So we ha we have to get to that point in this country where we know the difference. Yeah. yeah, I agree with that. And then I also say the fact that people really just wait for bad news because it spread like wildfire. Mm -hmm. And people are saying, hey, I always knew. I, I always suspected him. I did. And I'm like, okay, so now that they've let you know that he was just invited, it was an investigation, how do you feel? Like just being happy for people's downfall will never make sense to me, but that's just me, maybe. Anyways. At the end of the day, I'm glad everything's been clarified and yeah. mm -hmm. it's out there now. So let them talk, as always. Very true. All right, then, uh, still on the entertainment news, Julius Agu confirms end of his marriage. Nigerian stand-up comedian and actor Julius Agu has finally revealed what seems to have been speculations regarding his crushed marriage to his wife, Ibiere. He made this known in an interview with media personality Daddy Freeze, where he stated that his wife said she was tired of their marriage and had to leave. When he was asked to clear the air as regards his wife leaving the marriage, Julius Agu said, my wife said she's not marrying me again. That is true. She said she's tired of the marriage that she's not marrying me again. Julius Agu, who stated that his kids are currently in America, also revealed that he has been battling with his health and that one time he was in a coma for three months. He said, I had a tumor surgery in 2015, a brain surgery. I had it and came back and did my Thanksgiving. After that, I traveled to London to do my show. Two days to my show, I was rushed to a hospital in 2016. I was in coma for three months. I thank God that I am alive. I just relapsed. That is why you have not been hearing my name. And now we can hear his name and hear him speak. So uh, we're thankful to God for saving his life because back then people said it was just rumors. And then when he finally came out, we saw that he had lost a lot of weight and he was looking frail and everything. 
And through all of that was when the marital crisis started. But a lot of people felt it was reportedly because his wife was still there, even with everything that was going on. So uh, now he has come to clear the air. His marriage is over. And it's just crazy because recently uh, there was a video of Paul and his girlfriend celebrating one year anniversary after <coughs> the divorce and people came for him. But now Julius has cleared the air, maybe so that when he comes out with his new partner, nobody will come to attack him or whatever. But I just wish him the best. Okay, um, so is how people's marriages are really just having like turbulence at this moment for me because like you said you mentioned uh, our one year anniversary mm -hmm. uh, Paul Okoye okay. uh, him, him and his girlfriend and then Julius Agu is happening and then even this morning I saw a post where um, Shino Rambo uh, yes. yes David O's cousin um, <sighs> cousin's wife put up a post with like a broken door mm -hmm. and she's like oh my abusive husband I'm releasing <coughs> all the receipts today wow. And then look at this door. If you could punch this door that is strong like this, imagine what he has been doing to me. <laughs> Abuse Davido's sister. And like, so I'm, I'm just like, can everybody just... Calm down. Ah! It's plenty. There's just so much going on. Like, we're hearing that one. We're hearing this one. Like, I don't even know what's going on. But then I hope everybody gets everything sorted out, like, in the best way possible. And everybody yeah. is just good because... It's a lot. It is. It's honestly a lot. But, well, wishing everybody the best as always. Um, Julius Agu wishing him the best mm -hmm. as always, like you said. Yeah. And we keep it moving. All right, guys. That is all we can take on the entertainment news. It is now time for Celebrity Birthday shout out. First on our list in alphabetical order, we have Chinedu Ikedieze, who is a year older today. He is an award-winning Nigerian actor, entrepreneur, and serial investor. He is best known for playing alongside Osita Iheme in majority of the movies after their breakthrough as a duo in the 2002 film Aki Naukwa. He has since featured in several films in a career spanning over 20 years. Yeah. Lady Kat, and I know that you're a big fan. I am a big fan of Aki <laughs> and Popo. And then it's just the growth for me. Sometimes it feels like uh, they haven't aged at all. At all. Yeah. I agree. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to him. All right, still on celebrity birthday shout outs, we have Dion Warwick, who is 82 today. The 40 biggest U.S. hit makers between 1955 and 1999. Based on her chart history on Billboard's Hot 100 Pop Singles chart, she is the second most chartered female vocalist during the rock era and also one of the most chartered vocalists of all time. And we are wishing her a very happy Yo. birthday. Hey. She's absolutely gorgeous, especially Amazing. at her age. Love yeah, her. Definitely. Happy birthday. Definitely. Yes. All right. Also celebrating today. Day, but this is Poshuma's birthday, and this shout out goes to Frank Sinatra. He was an American singer and actor, nicknamed the chairman of the board, and later called Old Blue Eyes. He was one of the most popular entertainers of the 1940s, 1950s, and 1960s. He is also among the world's best selling music artists with an estimated 150 million record sales, and he would have been 107 today. Mm. Frank Sinatra, wow. amazing guy. Mm -hmm. Amazing guy, amazing. I, I, I'm his saying voice. like I know him. <laughs> like his voice, man. Like um, 107 years today would have been would massive. Would have been massive. Yeah, Happy big birthday one. to Happy him. Birthday. All right, we also have Jamie Lorente, who is 31 today. The Spanish actor is best known for playing the roles of Denver in Money Heist and Nano in Elliot. And absolutely loved his, his character. Hard guy, hard guy, hooligan. Where they fall in love. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was saying this to someone, I said, Money Heist is so good. And, and he, he had to, to do it in, in a game. different country. Yeah, he was yeah. telling me, yes. yeah. All right, happy birthday, birthday to him. 
All right, Jennifer Connelly is 52 today. She is an award-winning American actress. She has starred in several films, some of which include Beautiful Mind, Hulk, Dark Water, Little Children, Blood Diamond, The Day the Earth Stood Still, He's Just Not That Into You, Noah, Battle Angel, and most recently, Top Gun, Maverick, among others. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Happy birthday yeah, Jennifer to Jennifer. Connelly. It has to be um, the Hulk, the Hulk really? series. Yeah. yeah. She was his girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, okay. She liked them... <laughs> Big and green. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We also have Regina Hall, who is 52 today. <laughs> Regina Hall is an American actress who became known for her comedic performances in the scary movie parody film franchise. She has starred in films and series like Ali McBeal, Law and Order, L.A., Grandfather, The Best Man, It's 2013 sequel, The Best Man Holiday, Black Monday, About Last Night, Vacation, Girl Street, The Hate You Give, Little, among others. Regina Hall is a sweetheart. Yep. And I love the way she embodies her role. Quintessential black queen. I love her. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. All right. Victor Moses is 32 today. He is a Nigerian former professional footballer who plays as a winger on either flank for Russian club Spartak Moscow. He has also been deployed as a wing back at times during his career, and he also had playing stints in several clubs in England, such as Crystal Palace, Wigan Athletic, Liverpool, Stoke City, West Ham United, and even Chelsea, with whom he won the Premier League. He definitely, definitely <laughs> has had um, a very illustrious career. Yes, he has. Um, he has played with almost all the big clubs in uh, England already. And yeah, happy birthday to happy him. Happy birthday, birthday to him. And oh, I have a birthday uh, shout, out. <clears throat> shout out today. <laughs> and this one is for Mommy Abosede Ogundeko. Uh, she's the CEO of the Lobos Cuisine. You guys always hear when I'm saying that I'm eating, I'm eating, they send me food and all that. She's a mommy to everybody and I absolutely love her. Happy birthday to you, Mommy. And I wish you the very best happy today. Happy birthday, and Mama. Always. Happy birthday to you, man. Happy birthday to every single person celebrating today. We wish you the very best. And you're a December baby, so just go and shut it down wherever <laughs> you are. Yes. All right. Up next, we're taking a trip down memory lane on Rewind and our Man Crush Monday for today. Let's rewind. Oh, it will clear you. I like his style. Um, yeah. he's, he's one of those guys that's not very loud. He's not out there. He doesn't mm -hmm. put his business out there. Out there. Mm -hmm. He's very quiet. does his thing. He just wants to act movies. Um, you can tell he just has passion for it and yeah. just go back to his private life. And I like the way he... He was dating his wife mm -hmm. for a while. That's Nobody it. knew about mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. And then they finally, you know, um, said it to the world. And like how oh, Paul is dating only for mm -hmm. a while. For a while. But they have not said anything knows. about it. And then um, they will come out and say, at some point. Marry your best friend. Yes. Uh, All right. All right, people. Pray for that, me. Uh, <laughs> Jepot 2023. <laughs> Okay, it's that time of the day when we come to read some laughter and amusement as we will be checking out some crazy moments from the social media space. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Social Bills. Let's do it. So, we're starting with this one, and uh, this sub is for whoever's future mother-in-law. Mm. says, I hope my future mother-in-law knows I wake up 9 a.m. and press phone till whenever I'm hungry. Now, JJ, I did before your son find me, come my house, so. And I feel like uh, the people need to put this out there because in recent times we've been seeing posts of people saying, uh, guys especially, saying, I hope you know my mother wakes up at 3 a.m. at 5 a.m. So am what does I, that mean? Am I your mother? Is it me that give birth okay. to you? You better just know. see. So me, I tell people all the time, eh? It's a delicate balance between going out of your way to do something and then you just deciding that this is how you met me, this is how I'm going to Bless do. you. So anyone that works for you, feel free. Do it. Shall be ready I, to I collect just your... I just thought um, hand of relationships are supposed to be 50-50. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the guy too, he wakes up at whatever time he wants to wake up. Exactly. Me too, nobody I like breakfast in bed. Sleep. Bless you. Me too, I like breakfast when in bed. When we both decide that we want to eat. We we'll we'll eat. eat. And if we decide uh, to be waking up together, they uh, say, I'll do money devotion. But I think the problem is if the mother-in-law is not in the house, I'll ah, now be waking up. No, I'll actually wake up early because, okay, because mm -hmm. I don't know what time she functions, so I'll have to answer. But I know it's not forever. <laughs> so like that one week. But after one week, she the carry bag. 
This is the face I'm giving you, Dalan. Like, what are you saying? <laughs> So at TVS underscore official says, my fellowship president filled my practice form for exam all today. Person will give me success pen. Ah. So that's what happens when you don't follow Hulu Road. <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> how is your fellowship president that gave you success that pen? That gave you success pen to pass, mm. filling my mm. practice. So what was the person doing? He was using success he form. He was stretching neck. He was using success he form and he was, he was doing... <laughs> Number two, <laughs> four. You bring me shame. <laughs> With your success pen. So this is a conversation between a guy and a girl, obviously. And she says, seriously, I need a guy that will bring light into my family. And then the guy responds, he say, now nah, as a man I build, I know they work for Nepal. <laughs> I don't understand. Into your family. When I don't um, get light before. It's Not the light of our light. She wants light like, <laughs> you know, it's like the family is in darkness. Yes. When you come, make everything just bright. You light so up you just off me. you. Yeah. Yeah. You go off. No, then, I don't want to be off. Then when you off, the light. family to go come off. off. Then everybody go off together. Why yeah. my light go come light the light because, for your family? Because it, now you go be controller. Okay. I'm not an um, <laughs> uh, Moving on, at Caleb Music 8 says, last born sweet till you realize, nieces and nephews are sent creatures to retrieve all the money you've collected from their parents before. You can't escape billing. I swear. Over to you. Where are the last bones in the building? They don't know yet. Me, I'm not cuckoo last bone. They don't you know yet. You cute face. You hey, see, I'm not last bone. I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not that. If I was you. You will collect billing from your own last born. You will now collect nephew and niece and uh, place. Huh. I'm but one person. I said, the day my younger sister yeah. billed me, and I told my sister, I said, do you have money? This person, and she said, she asked me to. I asked the other one. She asked me to. Now, so until they do a job. Collect, collect, Since collect. Since a job. Yeah, imagine a job. imagine mm. that, you know, you give birth to children, you now sit them down, you know, like a, a gang. Uh. See. Is what your auntie. When your auncies and your uncles come, come, come here, no, I'm sure there are people that do it. Yes, no, 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 I'm sure they are, that. Uh, they are wait, did my mother do it? Why is this thing sounding familiar? Let me think. <laughs> because you get the kind of money where OJ picking go come ask me. I'll be like, ah, but I don't owe OJ this money. Yeah, hey, so. but you, why are you picking the? You go app? drop them, no worry. <laughs> and the parents go, they tell them the kind of gifts where that money go. Say what for your birthday? Ask, ask for. Auntie, I want PS5. <laughs> ask for. Hey, <laughs> I know they. Come on. All right, so this one is bad boss to people that went to some type of schools. After jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. The next line depends on, on the primary school you attended. So, jingle bell, jingle bell, hey. jingle all the way. But, 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 open but, but what? I don't know which school Tunde had not went to because after his own jingle bell, 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 he did not, he did not follow our. At all. Baba went down. He said, Bere, Mole. He found his calling. I said, I said, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, you were not here. Yeah, so before you came, I said that he's our Mariah Carey of Christmas. Yes, for Christmas. Like, you know, it's Christmas oh, yeah. time, I carry Christmas time, two dead notes. And then we played the remix today. I Amazing. See what's that age, all of them. <laughs> all right, people. You can see two people in suits. Huh? One person is whispering. <laughs> Z Dash Dora says the owner of the suit said you should move out of the sun. Mm. You know, when you borrow a suit and you eat it, not the sun, not the bitter no. too much. You know, see, person wear borrow clothes, now they dance past. My brother, where the thing go on to? Look at the dance. Uh, come, that's not your cloth. Bro, ah. you, borrowed, you borrowed that shoe. I know the bad part. When the owner is not there, that one go come, they feel the pain. Hey, especially when they now borrow your shoe or sneakers and they are dancing Zanko and everything. Hey. Me, I want to call somebody else, yeah? Wow. So, I will not say Please her name. God, no, 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 I will not say her oh, name. Yeah. So, she said that she had dates mm. and she needed a shoe. Mm. Mm -mm. I said, okay, come and carry the shoe. It just went to the dates. Mm -hmm. mm. I got the shoe back maybe like a year after. <laughs> yes. The shoe had bow leg. <laughs> I, I put my leg inside the shoe and they stand like this. I just yeah. packed the thing back for her. I just said thank you because nobody have this cover uh, of leg. One of yeah. my guys said, yeah. this table. What? You know I give my shoe with it, give me for box. Brand new shoe. When you received it? When I received it. Hmm. The shoe was white. It was white. It was, it was white. It was, it was white. Nice. Off white. Off white. Off -white. Off -white. <laughs> Now, this time, now, designer. Uh -uh. I couldn't wear it. He turned him to designer, yeah, yeah, yeah. another it's, designer. Ah. It's, it's, it's actually very upsetting. Very when annoying. That, you know, very and then they now hold your thing until you start calling and asking for it. That's the annoying part. Please mind the way Should you I wear people's also? clothes and you show it outside. Sure, I wear one so. And the sad part is now the new one, the eye they always enter. Yes, now. The new one. Yeah. Okay, so uh, <laughs> this is a thread at uh, 
Kanekio says, Oh, Mo, this couple's body odor one wound me for here. The two don't become one. Ultra ba. <laughs> As Coles underscore the underscore mimic now says, Mr. and Mrs. Odoyewu. <laughs> At N. Nathan King now says, Only battery money. <laughs> then at the Shady King now responds saying, Keeping up with the bad Muslims. If you know, oh, you know. If you don't know. Oh, bro. Two times in one place, man. man. So, my own problem is, one person cannot tell the other person that you dismay because oh, two, two of them, two of them, yeah. they still in your. They probably, they, two of them don't know. They are they just are used to living in. So what's the work of marriage counselor? Because are you not meant to call them and say this marriage was went <laughs> well, Do you know that? <laughs> Excuse me. What if during the counseling class they used to show anger issues, so the counselor did not want to collect? <laughs> no, but I just want to understand. You know all of this is Mr. and Mrs. Odoye. Odoye, how did you think <laughs> about <laughs> that? Ah, it's the order for me. So it's why you came to do introduction. One family did not tell the other family. <laughs> <laughs> but what if, what if, guys, what if they had been complaining to the girl? And when he came, they said, oh, the bone of a bone. <laughs> the, flesh, the, flesh of a the smell of my smell. <laughs> All right, no problem. You no know, go work. Ah, they are children. No hmm. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What? So, is this, who is this? He's looking. And uh, let me just read it. It says, problem, no, they finish. This one where I never hear Jingle Bell, be the bear don't spoil. Well, I never hear Jingle Bell. Timekeeper uh, don't, timekeeper don't leave school. The only Jingle Bell where I don't hear that, they had no song. But uh -huh. the main bell, I never hear him. The Jingle Bell, baby, I don't hear that at G because you get away the nag between. That kind of Jingle Bell, you go say the same ah, at all you go wake up. Yeah, I swear, but, but really, I've not actually been getting the Christmas mm -hmm. vibe yet. Mm -hmm. Like, I know that some people are putting on, like, lights mm -hmm. and decoration and all that, but mm -hmm. maybe by next week. We'll I start just to think feel the... Nigerians are still trying to wrap up their business. A lot of people yeah. still have business mm -hmm. to wrap people up. People are traveling. People have not even shopped for Christmas True. yet. People are shopping you know, for Christmas. People yeah, have not they gotten are. Well, now they see this money. Now, when you people get Christmas bonus, that's when you know that Christmas has started. But you know wow. what's funny? In the market, Christmas has started, though. Now, Christmas price, then they use settings now. <laughs> so, for markets, Christmas don't start. In the market, it has started. Hey, hey. But the Nigerians yeah. have not yet gotten no. it. Now, wow. Mm. And Chicky said, don't cost. <laughs> anyway, that's how we roll. We've come to the end of Social View and the first half of the show. And we hope you were really entertained. Truth Syndrome Monday is up next. In case you missed the question earlier, we asked, what is the most useless talent that you have? Kai, I'm about yeah. to disgrace myself on this show. <laughs> Life. And I'm grateful for having good people around you. Um, I want to talk about professionalism today because every time you hear people say, oh, I'm a professional. I'm very wow, are we taking shots at No, camera? I'm not taking shots. But I just want to say <laughs> I'm uh, grateful for people who do not let their sentiment or whatever it is get in the way of their job. Because at the end of the day, if you're letting every little petty thing that you feel get in the way of your job, then the job won't get done. Mm. And when, you, when it starts affecting your work, it becomes mm -hmm. a problem. And then you start making the job or the office uncomfortable for other people. So it becomes a major problem. So I'm just grateful for people who are very professional, who get the job done, and who are always there to lend a helping hand. Grateful for people like that. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's, that's pretty sure. Oh, yeah. Um, so uh, people don't realize how hard our job is. Mm -hmm because there are days that we come to the office, we don't really feel like it. At all. But because of simple professionalism, we still find a way to get the job done. The day my rabbit died, I think it was everybody in the studio yes. that knew that I was not functioning that day on this show. But I don't even think that people that were watching Nothing. knew. Like, we've all had things happen to us, but then when you get to the office, I feel like you still just somehow have to, especially with mm. our in front of camera. Like if you're behind the camera, maybe it's a different case, you get, yeah. you can still mm, chill. Course. But imagine like we came on the show and then me now, maybe something happened to me. I don't know. Mm. People will just kick me off this couch. Tell you the day that I, all three I, of us on the show were sick. I, you won't have known that day. There was a day, every single person was, it so, was mad. Um, <laughs> this also boils down to a lot of emotional intelligence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so, um, in this country, we don't know what it means to handle um, things professionally. In yeah. the sense that um, if you have a problem, yes. hmm? I always tell people, you know, when I used to work, I used to produce, I always tell all my um, acts, I say, if you have a problem, please, as you're coming inside the gate, 
Drop it. Drop it at the gate. Let me drop my own uh, problem. You said drop your own problem. Yeah, drop it so. at the gate. Because we're trying to make um, a show. We're trying to entertain people. Mm -hmm. I don't want your gloominess. I don't want any of that. But when we are done with our show, yep. as you're going, you can pick up problems yeah. and be going. And it applies to every, every job. Every stage of life. Yeah. yeah. Because an angry driver from his hmm. business experience will be, it will be terrible throughout the ride. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Um, dispatch rider, mm. he has problem, will be terrible. Hey. So you always have to learn to control your emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, it's to everybody. It's to everybody. <laughs> you have to learn to control your emotions. But wait, j yeah. what's the difference? What's the difference? What's the difference? You see, is you What's the difference? <laughs> What's the <laughs> It's just 20 naira. <laughs> Is it not just 20 naira? 20 naira. Eh, 20 naira difference. Why are you? 20 naira. It's true. Make I send the guy. <laughs> so, wait, uh, j are no, you saying? No, no let's vote. You can tell me, Cho. Oh, wait, What's let's vote. What's the difference? Uh? Should he send the 20 naira to the dispatch guy? Yes or no? Raise your hand for no. No, me, I'm in the middle. My own is that sell merch. You want him to the send the 20 naira? Then when you sell the merch, you from the merch, you now sell the 20 naira. Madam. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here is a quick recap of what we talked about in the news earlier, J. Paul. Yes, uh, Big Wiz is still in the news and he issues an apology this time around to disappointed Ghanaian fans for a failed concert. Yeah, Chale, we are sorry on behalf of <laughs> 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 All right, we also told you that the band speaks over alleged fraud detention. He has said he was not apprehended, mm -hmm. yeah. he was invited. Please the confirm the news before you spread it. That's the difference. And we also talked about Julius Agu confirming the end of his marriage. Mm -hmm. Yep, and yeah. we wish him and of course his wife, ex-wife, whatever mm -hmm. the situation is at the moment, the yeah. absolute best. Yeah, I feel like today's news was of a confirmation. Yeah. 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 Everybody confirming and apologizing. Well, that's good. All right, all right. Uh, on that note, let's check out what went down this weekend on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's Watch go. me. All right, number one is you are light-hearted. You easily see the humor in any situation. You take life seriously, but you don't take yourself too seriously. Uh, this has to be me, definitely. This has to be me, being light-hearted. Light mm -hmm. I see the seriousness in every situation, but trust me, I just want to solve it. <laughs> I just want to be the happy butterfly just floating everywhere and enjoying myself. Yes. Because I believe every problem at the end of the day will be solved. So why kill ourselves over a problem? Mm -hmm. You know? So I'm this kind of guy. Definitely. We agree. Yeah, you agree? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, number two, you don't write people off by outward appearance. You look beyond the exterior and actually try to get to know people for who they are before passing judgment. And trust me, that's a great one. Yeah, that's actually a good mm -hmm. one. There are people who judge people by their appearance, but sometimes you need to understand that a lot of people might not appear the way you expect them to. Mm -hmm. Maybe they might not look up to par and all that, but they have a lot to offer up here. Yeah, I agree. And if you don't have a conversation with them or indulge them, you won't find out that they're yeah. like that. Uh, case and point, Hermes, because I know that like when he got into the house, a lot of people were yeah. like, who is this one? What is this one? Like, what is the... And then Hermes started speaking, and I was like, okay, that he's actually really brilliant. So yeah. let's not say because j Paul have color hair now, you will now remove him from setting <laughs> because... <laughs> One thousand yards of that material. No, this yeah, is actually really funny because um, <laughs> so this morning I had um, a friend of mine who is, is actually a, a, is a millionaire. Billionaire. He came to my house, we were having a conversation, and he says to me, you know, people don't res respect me. They look at me and they judge me. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah, I get that. Because you just see him, he doesn't even wear, he doesn't wear, he doesn't, he just wears normal joggers and shirts. <laughs> and he just came like that, sat down in my parlor. I was like, people don't actually see him first and think that he owns anything. Anything. Mm -hmm. You know, the property wow. where he is, is building now, like people didn't even believe he was the owner. They thought maybe he was fronting for somebody else. Wow. And he liked the incognito status. Yes. So he yeah. just kept doing his thing, you know, slowly and until they now finally realized that he was the actual owner. Of the life. Meanwhile, some people would have you treated know? him anyhow. My sister, <laughs> yeah. they now come and beg for the uh, discount. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
Alright, number three on our list, you are confident. So your confidence can be smelled from a mile away and that is a good thing to have. You already have come to the realization that your confidence is not tied to external things. It comes from the inside. Yeah, and this is where yeah. uh, self-love comes mm -hmm. from because when you love yourself, the confidence will come from deep within. You don't need people to validate you. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if, no matter what people say, even when people have a lot of negative things to say about you, your confidence will always put you up there. And aside from even people validating you, things validating you as well. Because you hear people say, eh, is it because I don't have land in Lagos? Is it because no, yeah. darling, nobody actually cares about that? Okay. Like, if you're confident... See, there are people that... And uh, that's why all this, uh, the, like the Tinder swindler, he had confidence. confidence. That was why he could get into places that you'd be wondering, how did this guy get there? Mm. Meanwhile, people are after me, same for... for I know you're for, for, for me, For me, and this is something I learned of my own father, and, and something I'm going to imbibe in my own children. Mm -hmm. The first thing I'm going to teach you is you are who you are. You are a different person. Yeah. Whatever name you are, you are different. You, nobody else is you. Of course. You have yeah. to be confident. I need you to be able to step up to other people. I used to argue with my teachers. My teachers would call my father <laughs> and say, why is your son arguing so much? My dad says, I taught him to argue. I taught him to ask questions. Questions, when something isn't making so sense. We have a situation here in Nigeria or in Africa where if you're questioning authorities, it's a yeah, problem. It's, it's if you're questioning your pastor, for instance, and you say, okay, this, 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 this is in the Bible. Explain it. You, you say you are, you are good. Yeah, my, my niece <laughs> would ask questions, and when you answer the question, she derives another question from the question, and it becomes that's the only a proper way to interview. Learn. Yeah, yeah, that's the only way to learn. All right, at number four, you have depth. Conversations with you run deeper than just words, words like mato, yeso, naso, and all <laughs> that, and all whatnot. You don't have to know everything, but knowing just a bit of everything has something interesting and intellectual to it. You actually contribute meaningful, meaningfully to deep conversations, and you are intentional about expanding your intellect. Yeah, this one, this yeah. one definitely uh, speaks. My manager, he knows a bit of everything. Mm -hmm. He's so bad, I'll be telling him about makeup. Yes. He's aware. I mm -hmm. can. He knows. He knows. He, he knows will call brands for you. He'll be calling brands. I'm like, how do you know? He's just like, ah, because they can throw you anyway. Imagine you huh. go there and then, imagine you got to meet Rihanna. You don't know mm -hmm. what foundation is. Mm -hmm. Like, you have to be able to have conversations. Mm -hmm. So I, I give it up to people like that. Like, yes. what? And then he also encourages people to learn a bit of everything. Yeah. Because he has told me before, this is just me being very honest. He has told me before there was a time I found out something and I was telling him, I was like, oh, you should actually read more about it. So yeah. he says, when you find out new things, read more about it. You don't know where it will be useful. Okay, so you were talking about um, me on the show and be, having an idea yeah. of almost uh, every 1, question. 1,000 years. So <laughs> this is how it works. Um, I used to have a program as a kid. There's a software. It's called Encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. So I used to read a yeah. lot. You know, so because I remember in pictures, I don't remember what I words. read in words. I remember pictures. So it shows me pictures. Mm -hmm. So... Anything I see in picture just remains in my head. Your head. Yeah, so that's how it is. Just make sure that you read everything, you have any information, just feed your brain with more information. Brainiac! Well, yeah. now to sit down beside Jebo, for example. My sister, we don't see information. <laughs> he go shock you. <laughs> uh, you recover book? Wow. Ha! Twini! Hmm. <laughs> All right, number five on our list is that you are open-minded. You understand individual differences and you stay open to viewing life through other people's lenses. Mm -hmm. This one is very important because some people just feel like what they know is what they know and that's the straight and narrow mm -hmm. and everybody True. needs to be on that path. But well, not everybody functions that way. People have all had different experiences in life. So somebody's coming from here, somebody's coming from here. Yeah. You don't have to disagree. Share opinions and ideas. Take what you can or what you will and then just let it be. So and then, it's, it's actually difficult for people to, in the heat of the moment. I don't know. Right? Uh, in, in the heat of the moment, they will not be able to sit down and put themselves at other people's. You know, you get. So in this instance, I think you just have to take time. Don't talk. Just Listen. understand where that yeah. person is coming from. Well, it is time for Truth Syndrome Monday. And we are back with our question. Today, we are asking, what is the most useless talent that you have? So, got us some skills. Catherine, I'm Since really... So no, 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 Let me not show off. Let me go last. So, Jacob, you have useless talent. All right. Mm -hmm.
I don't know. The place I get plenty useless talent. <laughs> <laughs> but the most useless of them all has to be sleeping. <laughs> Yeah. Sleep is not a talent. It's not, it's a, not talent. a talent. It's not a talent. Yeah. I want everybody to sleep now. Like me now, it's the same. I need sleep. I, I see after the show like this. They go mm -hmm. crash. It works. It's a useless talent because okay. I can't sleep. see it. when I sleep. <laughs> there's no there's no alarm in this world. <laughs> I decide to wake up on my own accord. Wow. wow. You know, but um, they never carry me go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Because talent is supposed to take you somewhere, this one has not taken me anywhere. So it's a useless talent. Nobody said I don't want to sleep again. I go <laughs> okay. still like to the sleep. But, uh, but this one, you know, carry me go anywhere. Shaking my head, are you? <laughs> well, I have some useless talents, but the most useless would be chopping onions without crying. Oh, that's not taking me anywhere. Yes, it's talent. There are many it doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect me. Um, you go teach me. Uh. Most useless talents. Because when I'm chopping, they'll, they'll not say, oh, we are chopping when it comes to onions. <laughs> they, 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 I'm the one. <laughs> so before, when I chop onion, wow. I used to cry. Like, you go take, say they don't slap me. <laughs> so, uncle, I don't know how, but I suddenly realized that there was a way that when I chop onion, like, if you remember, uh, when we used to have the Wake Up Nigeria cooker, I was the one that always chopped the onion, and I, I, I'm not always teary eyed. I don't know how, but I just got the talent. No, no. Use less, use less talent. So I'll just keep you tell me later. I never thought I was the awkward one in the group thought, chat. You know, I, I used to say onions are very, you know, they, they must be a wicked plant because why are you cutting something and you don't want you to cry? Uh, but you that have... you're not crying, uh, does that make you wicked? No, so, not wicked. Yuna, <laughs> Yuna patience or the one from Max. Ah. Yeah. Wait, so wait, um, before you go, <clears> does eating rice with okra, is it Italian? No, 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 it's not. no, no. We'll it's do not. horrible food combination. We'll do that one another day. Don't worry. That one I get plenty. Don't worry. I have plenty. I'm a food girl. Mm. So, auntie, okay. Okay. I have my my user time is plenty. Oh, it's plenty. This but one. so I used to take pride in I can put this hand inside this hand without opening the hand. Mm. So like see like this now. It's because you have skinny hands. Yes. I don't know why other people yeah. I just think you see, like my, my fingers won't open, but then man can enter and come out. I, mean, I, don't, this. I don't know what. It's the skinny no, hand. See. Because she has long fingers see. and her hand is skinny. My nail, see my nails though. So she has, see my thing, see. She has skinny hands and see. long fingers, so it will enter. You be this like, where where that is. As in, uh, no, so, in nah. you know, so in the house, anyways, it was not useless like that, because uh -huh. in the house, no one remote fall in one <laughs> corner. corner. What well, those small? Then I say that I come put your skinny hand inside this place. That's my mother say your skinny hand. That's one. Number two, I have to get up uh -huh. for this one. My second useless talent. <clears throat> this, 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 uh, this, this is this serious. This truth syndrome money was for you. It's made for Dala. <laughs> oh, I, I, can make, ah. I can make. No, ah. <laughs> I can make. I can make noise. Pa, pa, pa. And I can do it continuously. I can do it. Pa, 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 pa. What I'm going to use it for one day, maybe if I go on a... <laughs> it's it's worth it for no Talent competition. Yes. I know what yeah. you use it for. Quack, quack, quack competition. What? Okay, and uh, that's our truth. After this time, I don't know if I should also would love to hear from you watch it. We would love to hear from you watch it. As the phone lines will be open, <laughs> we want to hear all your useless talents. <laughs> we'll be taking your Facebook and Twitter messages. We are at TVC Connect using the hashtag eSplash on TVC. Now let's check out what people out on the street have to say about their useless talents. <laughs> <laughs> TSM, it's Truth Syndrome Monday. I think my high is my high ball, like, I don't know. I don't know, is that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, um, I don't know. I can't sleep, oh. <laughs> I didn't sleep. <laughs> I can't sleep for the whole day. If I have nothing to do, but then, you know, work in between. So, maybe two hours, then you watch a movie, you walk in between, you go back to sleep. <laughs> it's just to be alone, like, just to be left alone. So money is not coming in, no money is going out. Eating, actually. I love eating. I love food a lot. Yeah, the young people were, were, so it's destructive. So I hope I, hope I change. <laughs> I'll be sleeping, because sleeping is one thing I do conveniently. 
I can sleep for Africa. Like, uh, is that a talent away? Is this for sure? Maybe in the midst of children, kindergarten, I can make money with it, make children laugh with it. Like, hello, my name is Ramon. <laughs> I hope you can see that, like, hello, my name is Ramon. Um, sorry, where are you standing? Are you standing here? Like, so I can roll my eyes, I can, you know, make the two eyes come together, like. I can roll my tongue and I can roll my eyes. Well, I like to talk to myself a lot. On the road, in the class, or, you know, at work. And my colleagues will be like, what's wrong with that? <laughs> And so I do that a lot, so yeah, that's one new thing. I, I think it can't fetch me money. I said I can go for a concert and talk to myself. People watch me talking to myself and give me money for that. I'm not sure that will happen, so yeah. Unique thing I know how to do, but it's actually useless talent. Uh, well, there's no useless talent I have. Anything I do is unique. But I know how to mumble the mouth. Like... <laughs> TSM, it's Truth Syndrome Monday. An actual useless <laughs> talent. I see. That, so I bet mean, no watch that mic before you use that again like because you know, when you said you know uh, none serious. of my talents are actually yeah. useless. Yes, you know, it's very you know, unique. Very unique. And, and this one of talents like, I how know. useless can it be? I beg any party <laughs> seconds they find clown. <laughs> <laughs> then the girl that was rolling her, I she I did not know, get it. I don't know what she was doing. Let me show you people. So this is what she was trying to do, like this. Oh, wait, you do that too. Mm -hmm. But get catch crows. Do you know that my own eh, is only one eye that I can uh, do? I can do both eyes. No, I can do. Oh, you can do one. I can <laughs> it's do only one. <laughs> only one with a. Uh... <laughs> I can do Should both. I do the rest of the show like this? No. <laughs> I can also do this. Don't the show ask like me this. which one I can do. <laughs> which one? Yeah, so we're reading messages. Wow, J Paul. <laughs> wow, J Paul. Wow. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. All right. All right, guys. So we were asking, uh, what is the most useless talent that you have? You see some of your comrades <laughs> out and about mm -hmm. displaying there. So we're going to be checking social media now to see what you guys have to say. Uh, on <coughs> on Facebook, Sixtus Egbo said, talking too much without not making sense. Mm. Is the fact that you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you For knows. me, I like... Mean... Flawless Blaze said, I can fold my tongue into the shape of a flower. I've been missing the show back to back these days because of school. Thank you for YouTube, Sha. Aww. Deepa, what are you doing? I'm trying Thank to you. Fold. You cannot. I can't do it. No, I can't. Can. <laughs> Kabiru Sani said, I like money and no be small. That's not a talent. Uh -uh. We all business. like money. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Who would like a tattoo? Uh, progress in the BC said to slim fit meat. Meat. Hmm. Used to slim feet. Yeah, uh, like cutting mm. of meat. Why are you? Hmm. Now, wow. All right, let me just take one more so that somebody else can. <coughs> Ayomiko said, not making noise while taking my mom's phone when she's sleeping. Oh, ah. we, all, we all have that talent. A lot of people have I'm it. I'm sorry to disappoint you. We all have it, and it's not useless. Unless your mother sleeps like Jay Paul. <laughs> 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 Okay. okay. Let's let's see what um, happens. So I have some I have some on Twitter, <laughs> and of course, Kalipaka. Ah, wow. you just asked. Kalipaka says, "Oh, before I take that, um, we have Timothy all the way from Benway calling. Timothy, how are you doing today? Um, I'm fine. Great. So Timothy, uh, you know what our TSM question is? What's the most useless talent that you have? The most useless talent that you have." I'm fine, though. Can you turn down the volume of your TV set the next time you want to call back, Timothy? Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, please, if you want to call and talk to us, please turn down the volume of your TV set. I know you want to listen to us mm -hmm. and talk to what us. What do you hear But it will be more interesting when you talk to <laughs> us through the phone than the television. All right, so I was reading the messages on Twitter, mm -hmm. and uh, Kali Paka, uh, the usual suspect, he says, what's the most useless talent that I have? It's a funny one. There's a way I'll crack my teeth teeth and tongue, it will be making noise, but you will not know that I am the one doing it. That's mm -hmm. useless. Kalipa. Wow. So of course. <laughs> just the yes sound. If you got you talent culture, you're doing crum, 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 crum. My brother is a very useless talent. Wow, I can't do But yeah, we'll accept it. <laughs> 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 All right, so Jovia Joe says, it has to be lyrics. Once I listen to a song once or twice, the lyrics stick. My brother, 
I also, that's a useful talent it's very actually useful. It's because very if you go on like a game show don't type forget yeah, the lyrics. don't forget yeah you, uh, that one is just useful you make money. yeah actually that's not useless at all Okay, uh, another one. Ray Mickey says, Once I know a lyrics, it becomes evergreen on my head. Some, some lyrics of eight, ten years ago, I can still mm. sing them out loud. And we have another caller. Sylvia, how you doing? Hello? Hi, Sylvia. Hi. You need to speak out louder. We can't hear you. How you doing today? Um, All right, we lost, that. We, lost we lost that one as well. Yeah. Baby Kat, you want to take right. Facebook? Yeah, so I'm on Facebook and Dara Simi says, I sleep a lot. This was before and I hated it. I just sleep at the slightest chance I get. Hmm. I slept one time to the extent that I thought we were in the next day, but it was a lie. <laughs> I argued with people that were in the next day. Be like, say that sleep too sweet. And I talk <laughs> a lot. I never cease to rest. I can argue to the extent that you surrender and tell me, what time is it good for the body? <laughs> 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 You know, there are actually some people that you don't want to argue with. Mm. Because even when you're making a point, yeah. you know one year. And we have a caller. Hello, Emeka from Lagos. Hello, good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. I'm a talent with you. Please what? Tell you what I can do. My useless talent. Okay. So what I can do is water in my mouth. Wow. <laughs> And really funny, thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Thank you for, you for showing us. You know, yeah, he's, yeah, good yeah, yeah. he's good at brushing. When he brushes, he, he, actually, well. he actually did it As for us. As did it, I. <laughs> wow, you, love the Thanks energy. Thanks for calling the maker. <laughs> All right, Ayomiko says, not making noise. Oh, wow. Not making noise while taking something that doesn't belong to you. Wow, OK. You're a thief. And yeah. that's a useless talent. Oh, yeah, Tunji now said to open pot without making noise. Muidin Abiodun now said, raw talent. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. All right, All right so, so we have, uh, he's yeah. Marvi here saying, and I love this one. I don't feel the hotness of the Pomo Oshaki when stealing from Mumsy's pot of soup by 3 a.m. My mouth is heat proof at that point. But well, that's a useful talent because if you don't move the meat mm. successfully, now. Because if it burn you, <laughs> hey, wahala. <laughs> All right, we have Raphael calling from Jaws. How are you doing, Raphael? Hey, Raphael. Are you there, Raphael? Uh, All right. I don't think we have that one. No. Yeah. All right, people. Yeah, so. And uh, it's TSM Monday, and we're still talking about what is the most useless talent that you have. And we have a caller on the line all the way from Lagos. Lawrence, Lawrence. how are you doing? <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Lawrence. Lawrence. Lawrence, please help us out here. What's the most useless talent you have? <laughs> I have many useless talents, too, <laughs> but <laughs> number one, can sleep for Africa. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. Can sleep, can sleep seven and eight. Allow God to wake me up. Uh. <laughs> number Just two, I'm a foodie. Oh, you're a foodie? I, I wow. eat a lot. You eat a I lot? Eat. Even junk food, I eat. And you know the show for your so body. Say, eat junk food. Hot <laughs> food. <laughs> <laughs> Just my legs just be long, be long. Be long. <laughs> 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 All right, Lawrence. Thank, thank you, Lawrence. Thank you. Thank you for I think sharing that us. eating and like not getting, uh, adding weight is like it should be a easy. talent yeah. because what? Yeah, you have that talent. I know that. I said my talent, useless talent, plenty. Yeah. So oh, I yeah. still have some messages okay. on um, Twitter. Um, Diamond Bliss says uh, my useless talent has to be raising my both ears. Hmm? Oh, yeah, people that can move yeah. their yeah, ears. Yeah. Yeah, you just then, your eyebrow. eyebrow no, I'm trying to know. Is... Even eyebrow too is there now. <laughs> some people cannot raise you know, their well, Let me tell you something whistle. I cannot do. I, I was about to say that. I you can't whistle. whistle. I cannot wow. whistle. I can't whistle. Huh? I can't whistle. <laughs> I will teach you people after the show. Please teach us. Okay, give us more. Give us but more. Can you raise example. both brows? Or one. <laughs> God, I don't know normal people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, we have Bams on Twitter who also says, Good day, guys. My most useless talent is my ability to always win arguments, even when I'm wrong and end Let's up annoying argument. the other person. My mentor always looking nice, Mr. Flames. 
Oh. <laughs> So stop, I just, stop, stop uh, arguing when you know that. So, guys, I just saw this one. Uh, Godwin Phenom Emmanuel says, The most useless talent I have is using my tongue to touch my nose. Wow. Don't even talk about that. You cannot get there. <laughs> it's a very useless talent. Very useless. Right? It will not take you anywhere in life. <laughs> actually, actually. But then, that's actually. That's a very useless talent. It's not. No. How long is your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even try. Well, so that's, 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 that's very creepy. Some people's tongue, uh, they have long tongues. Wow. That's Crazy very stuff. <laughs> and uh, Richard Hade Yonju says public relations, not being able to relate publicly. That's it. That's, that's not a talent. As in at all. That's, that's not even a talent. No. Really. Speaking of all, it's not a talent. Ibrahim Femi Chiata said reading comments. Is reading comments is a, a talent. talent? Yes. Yeah. That's why people have to open comment section. It's actually a talent. Yes. There are some people that you don't see them anywhere else, but just go on Insta mm -hmm. blog and mm -hmm. you see them in comment section. They are so active. Talent. And then, then first they respond to other people's comments. They're not the comment though, but then they reply to people's comments. <laughs> you don't see comments, you see replies. On, they're always one of the first people. But you know that I feel like... Um, so all these things that we actually even call useless comments. Mm -hmm. I saw somebody here that is saying, there's no talent that is useless. You have to calm down because Christopher or CBM said, no such thing as a useless talent. That's why it's recognized as a talent. It may be less or more recognized or profitable depending on your environment, but never useless. Hey. I think even Messi less Capin and Miss mm. Yanin is a talent. So mm. people just Miss Yan as talent. That because... guy is recognized for his talent. Yes, John yes. So even that's yeah, a yes, talent. But I feel like because even all the things that we will say are useless talents, that's why people are in world record. Mm. You see people winning world record for things that are like maybe like longest nails or yeah. something. Okay. Like so <laughs> try the not be we vex you. Yeah. Christopher, Make just try the Yeah. Thank you. All right, uh, Sylvia, yeah, Sylvia is, back is back on the from line. Lagos. Hi, Sylvia. How you doing? Welcome back again. Hi. Yes, you're 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 back on the show Woo! now. Um, so what's the most useless useless talent that you have? Sylvia. 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 Is Come your talent Sylvia. disappearing? Hello. Yes. Hi, <laughs> Sylvia. Hi. Hello. Hello, Hi. We can hear you, Sylvia. Hi. How are you? Oh, I love you guys so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you so much, my darling. Thank you so much. All right. What my is that? useless yes. talent mm -hmm. is going to be, smiling when I'm meant to be angry. Like, I'm supposed to be angry, I'm supposed to be crying, but I'm smiling. <laughs> like, I don't know why. But I don't think it's useless, actually. Sylvia, but I don't think it's I don't think it's useless. It's not useless. Because like I think it takes you away from situations. I don't take it seriously. Okay. Because honestly, like it saves you from situations because you and your friends cannot fight because all the way they're doing Sylvia, this is what you did, you don't do that. Yeah, it's well see the smile is not it's not too happy. I don't know why I can't stop that. It's it's actually not a useless talent. It's not. You know, it's actually a good one. It is. A good thing that in the it's face of one. heat yes. and you know yeah. and anger, you can maintain your, your balance. So that's good. That's actually good. All right, Sylvia. Thank you so much. Thank for you calling. so much. You have a good I'm talent say, there. It's not the easiest talent because Joker. He used to oh, smile. Yeah. 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 And he ended up being the Joker. All the time. But let me take this last <laughs> one before we go. Uh, Nana Abubakar said hiding things. Man, I can hide stuff. Uh -uh. And Long Glance says, that's says I switch Nepa to Jen. Switch without TV going on. Oh, that's it. Ah, <laughs> that's a talent! Yes, if you know, you know. Ah. <laughs> I'm telling you when the DSTV. It's not even DSTV. Maybe you're editing and you're rendering something. No, no, you have not oh, seen. Yeah. Chuck him. Yeah. Ah. No more. <laughs> if you know, you know. All, All right. right, guys. Thank you so, so very much for tuning <laughs> into the show. Your messages, your calls. They your were useless well talents. And now we know the useless talents that are not so useless. And the ones that might be useful in the future and the ones that are useless. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning to the show today. I did this with the very beautiful goddess of skin. I said this after my eyes for the rest of the day. And we also have J. Paul, Mr. Flynn, the freshest kid on the block. No time to check I do all useless talent. Yeah, they do have No, I'm just saying that the people should not use the useless talent of changing this channel. Don't change it. Well, like, hey, that's <laughs> a useless talent. Yeah. That's a serious one. All right, guys, your lady Catherine, a real hotness signing out. Bye for now, guys.